Let's return to our FET simulation, Tug of War. We've already figured out how to create forces on this simulation and observe the net force. Now that we're learning about Newton's first law, let's take a closer look at the resulting motion. Again, let's turn on the sum of forces and the values in the top right corner here. Then we'll put a larger person on the left and we'll put a medium person on the right and this creates a net force of 50 newtons to the left. When we click go, let's watch the motion. It's not just motion, but it's a change in motion. If you look closely, you can see that it just keeps getting faster. An object stays in the same motion unless acted on by a net force. As long as there's a net force, there will be a change in motion. So how could we have motion without a change in motion? Again, Newton's law talks about the motion staying the same if there's no net force. If we click return here and start again, but as soon as we get some motion, we quickly balance out the motion by pulling another small person onto the right, we'll have a net force of zero. And so now there's motion, but not changing motion. Play around with it a bit, then try some of the experiments that are required for your learning guide.